In this video I'd like to show you how to create this stained glass effect with no glass and really no lead either. Welcome to Crafted Sweetly. Thanks so much for being here. If you hear noise in the background, that's actually the Cricut machine cutting a different project that's going to take a couple of hours to cut. So I figured I might as well have that cutting while I'm doing this. And I will be posting that video in the next couple of weeks. So be sure to check back or click on that subscribe button so you get notifications of once I post that video. But I'll show you in this video how to make the stained glass effect with really no glass. So let's get right into this project. For this project, I'm starting off with a piece of acetate and you can cut this really any shape you would like. The next thing that I'm using for this are these gallery glass lines. These are to simulate the lead that you would usually put if you're do working with stained glass. They're basically called instant lead thin line. And I'm gonna use this once I get this prepped. So for this I'm, I'm just setting it on a piece of cardboard so that it stays in place because I'm going to do alcohol ink on it. And just a couple of repositionable tapes right on the edge, completely on the edge here. So these are the two items, then we'll need alcohol ink and alcohol. And then for alcohol ink I'm using Limeade, Sailboat Blue and Raspberry. But really you can use any colors you choose. And then I do have a little bottle with alcohol in it. To move the ink around, I'm using this Revlon brush. I'm just going to add some alcohol ink to here. Just let it dry. And then I'll add the alcohol to move it around. I will add a couple of additional tape pieces right along the edge here so it doesn't move it was shifting a little bit again just make sure you don't go too far into the plastic once this is dry i'll add alcohol to move the ink around Once you think you have this the way you like it, what I would recommend is holding it up to a window just so you can see if there are any spots that don't look quite right and then you can keep working those. So I will check and see how this looks, you know, as you're holding it up to the window. And this area looks a little light when I hold it up to the, to the window. So I'm gonna add just a little more color there and spread it around. Okay, and then once you have it to the way you like this, then um, I wouldn't, I'm not so worried if any of the ink ran behind the plastic here on the back side. I'm gonna use a cotton ball with just a little bit of alcohol on it to clean this side. You make sure this is completely dry and then we'll move on to the next step. The next step is to make sure that this part, which is where we're gonna put the lead lines, is clean. So I'm just gonna take some uh, pad and wipe the back side to make sure that there isn't alcohol ink on this side. And once this is all clean and completely dry, you want to make sure that the alcohol is totally evaporated. Then we'll start working with these lines. So I'm going to take one line at a time and I'm going to do the outer edge first. And I'm going to go as close as possible to the edge here. This is sticky on one side and they're so nice and thin that it's easy to do the curve around the plastic. So now I have the lead, quote unquote, all the way around the plastic. 
Okay, now to decide where do you want these dividers to go. And what I want to do with this is I'm, I'm going to let the colors dictate where I'm going to put the next lines. So they'll kind of go all over the place. And if it looks like you can't do a curve, then that's where you're going to cut. And then continue doing this until you're happy with all the lines that you've set down. And you can't leave any that are like this where the line is just sort of on its own, not really going anywhere. So you want to make sure you avoid that. So something like this, this is how I would solve that problem. Just go up a little more and kind of connect and come down this way with it. Do make sure that you press so that this sticks really well. And that's how you'll just continue doing this in the various sections and as much or as little as you want with these lines. I will add a couple of more lines just so there isn't so much space open here. To make sure this is does not come off and then there is the beautiful stained glass effect to it now the back side is the part that we did the alcohol on um, you can spray this if you'd like I'm just gonna leave it I often get asked if things should be sprayed I've had a couple of other sun catchers that I've done with alcohol ink and they've been in the window for a little more than a year and they look the same as the first day so I'm not gonna spray with anything I figured I can always make another one or touch up if necessary but I'm just gonna leave it as is one other thing I'll do is I'm going to put a little hole in it right at the top so I can hang it and then use a tie to hang it so I have some string there is your stained glass sun catcher I think it's really beautiful it's nice how you can you kind of divide the panels after the the fact on the acetate and you could use a marker to do this but what's nice with these lead effect lines is that it also has a little bit of depth to it, a little bit of height to them so it does actually look like lead that you've put on here i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions please comment below thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next project